2007. Um, thank you very much for participating in our little uh, pre-conference entertainment. And congratulations to Team B, stunning victory. Give yourself a round. some of the themes that you've just demonstrated in the pre-conference entertainment, namely audience participation and emergent gameplay. And these are some of the key trends and key topics that I'd like to share with you over the next 30 or 40 minutes. So the title of my speech today, Game 3.0. Now let me put this into a little bit of context for you and try and explain what I mean by Game 3.0 and why it's so relevant to everybody here in this room, the game developers, the creators, people who will be driving our industry forward. There was a magazine front cover late last year which I thought was a pivotal moment in the internet age, which is where Time magazine said that you were the person of the year, democratizing the internet and putting you in control of your entertainment experiences and allowing you as users to share with an entire universe around you. This I thought was a great moment for the internet economy and this is really what a lot of people refer to when they talk about things like Web 2.0. So Web 2.0 is not a standard, it's not something which is a set of rules, it's not something which is a set of uh, software tools, but it is more of a philosophy and it was something that Tim O'Reilly established when he first came up with this term. And since then, a lot of people in the Web 2.0 community have helped to define and describe and characterize what some of the Web 2.0 uh, applications uh, really should be built upon. Now these words don't really mean anything until you actually lay out on top of this slide the products and services that we all know. These are the products and services that we use every day in our lives, sharing with others, collaborating with others, and empowering audiences through the internet. So this is what we want to do with Game 3.0, is to start a movement which will start to define what this means for our industry as we take it forward over the next 10 years. Let's go back in time first of all though. Game 1.0, this is the founding fathers of our industry. This is where it all started back in the 1970s. And it was all about the disconnected console. The disconnected console which was powered by the static game disc or cartridge experience. The entirety of the software experience as defined by the developer was contained on that piece of plastic. As we move forward, we came into the game 2.0 era. Now this is the connected console or PC, using the power of the internet for the first time to bring together players from around the world, but still with static game content on the disc. Now the era that we're moving into is game 3.0. This is all about the connected device, but a connected device empowered by audiences and powered by dynamic content, powered by active communities, built on open standards. This is what we're going to show you today, is what at Sony Computer Entertainment we believe are a couple of applications, two or three applications, which best represent this movement. And these are some of the phrases that we have suggested would best characterize Game 3.0. We want the entire game community to add to this and to amend this and to build on this. This is not something that we are trying to claim as a trademark or a copyright. This is our uh, suggestion for how we might define ourselves going forward. It's all about social interaction. It's about content creation empowered inside the game experience. It's about community. It's about collaboration. It's about customization, it's about emergent entertainment powered by the audience at the center of the entertainment experience. So what we'd like to do now is to share with you some of our ideas for how this will come to life in consumers' hands. The first thing I would like to share with you is not a product, but is a service, and it's a service called Home. Home will be launching for PlayStation 3 later this year, and runs directly off the PlayStation 3 cross-media bar, as indeed this entire presentation has been. So you can see we've added an additional icon to the PlayStation 3 cross-media bar, simply a home icon. So let's run and la launch into the service, and I'm going to introduce to the stage to help me take us on a tour around the home service, Scott Walgerman, the producer for Home. Scott, please come and join us. Okay, 
other machine, please. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Can we bring up the PlayStation 3, please? So, Scott, you can show us what we can do here today. Uh, everything we do in Home is 